Hey folks, so this is the word count test, testable spec class, um, and I'll just run it to get started here. You can see, I'm going to call it out actually, up here, I'm going to run it. We run it like this, and it's, I mean, a standard way to run it in IntelliJ. We can go down to an SBT shell. We can start it up over here. This, while this is firing up, let's just go over the browser. Um, I am at, I pulled it from T McGrath Kafka streams, and then I'll put up here in the, wherever you're watching this video, I'll put a, a link in the upper right-hand corner here for this particular repo so just pull that down and then come and you can see that uh, we've got this testable spec I'll show it you can run it as I ran it before up here or you can run it in the SBT shell by just running test And this should run the couple of the tests they're pretty they're really basic tests it's just a you know it's just getting started here um, it's got the, uh, the extension of flat spec from Scala test and then this trait to, met, to make setting the properties easier for as I'll add more tests here. Um, so this is the it's under com super glue examples word count testable spec as I mentioned wherever you're watching this and maybe I'll include a link to make sure you know up here I'll include a link. Um, that um, I needed to refactor word count. I refactored it to something more testable. So I called it word count testable. How's that? Um, created it a couple of functions like count number of words and to lowercase. I describe all of this in the tutorial wherever you're watching this from. Um, really basic stuff as far as Kafka streams go. There's not much to really talk about here in this one. This is more just about the example of um, writing and running tests. So I think that covers it. I got this trait here that I wanted to show, the word count testable spec, and then the description of all this, things like topology test driver, and then consumer record factory as part of this Kafka stream utils is all pretty handy stuff and it's pretty nice to be able to just run tests without any sort of you know ceremony around it i can even run tests in a debugger so i can put breakpoints and run it up here in the debugger and i'll be able to stop and inspect the code as it looks at the particular time at the breakpoint in the test and then continue to run it so yeah, I just wanted to show you running that. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them in the comments section. Hope this helps. Talk to you later.